All right, good day. Welcome, loves, and welcome, Sagittarius. This is going to be the reading. All right, I'm doing you because you showed up in Pisces readings. So let's see what we have going on for you guys. All right, it's been a while since I've put a video out. We have to enjoy life, right? So let's see what we have. I think it was almost like two weeks since I've... What the fuck is that? I have no idea. All right. But yeah, obviously I've uploaded some animal photos, but that's about it. All right, let's see what we have for the sign of Sagittarius. All right. Last shuffle here. Oh, we're starting with you, the lovers, Gemini and Sag. All right. And then we have the Ten of Cups under that. I'm getting like the ultimate love. Yeah, like there's no love that can like be above this type of love. There's passion, there's desire, there's connection, duality. So are you contemplating a water sign? We have the emperor. All right, let's see what's going on here with the contemplation. Or maybe you've just rejected somebody. Maybe right now you're just kind of thinking. You're not really fully, like, taking anything in. Um, wow, we do have here the Knight of Cups that showed up in Pisces reading. There could be a water sign that is contemplating forgiving you. Here for the Four of Cups, King of Cups. The number six could be of significance for you guys. All right, let's see what we've got for the Four of Cups, King of Cups. The Chariot. So there could be somebody that is contemplating moving in your direction here. But I feel like they wonder if you're going to reject it or not. We have the Six of Wands. Look for the Six of Wands. For the Six of Wands. And what do we have for the Six of Wands? I feel like this is mostly like... I feel like this is somebody contemplating you. I feel like it's somebody that just kind of hangs around in the background. We have here the Four of Wands. All right, so you may have some sort of like commune. You might be in the, there's some community shit here. Let's see what's going on with the Four of Wands, Six of Wands. Four of Wands, Four of Wands, please. Somebody is feeling left out. It's kind of what I'm getting. Let's see. Four of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody's feeling left out. It very well could be a water sign. All right, maybe you guys have water in your chart somewhere here. Give me a little more here, because I feel like somebody here is like, just kind of feeling like they don't belong somewhere. We have the tower. Okay, so there was a falling out. Yeah, some, there was something that ended very quickly. And somebody here is feeling left out, left behind. So there was a falling out, and I feel like there's a lot of thinking about this here. It could be watching you in the public eye here, because Sag, your energy really isn't here, but doesn't mean you can't have it somewhere else. But it's like, it's somebody who's doing a lot of thinking. But yeah, give me a little more here. 
What's with this plan, this vision? All right. The two of wands, we have the nine of pentacles. So somebody's trying to find the confidence here. Yeah, it very well could be a water sign here. Somebody's really not confident about how they feel or maybe how you feel. All right, so how does Sagittarius feel about this person? How does Sag feel about this person? We do have the Queen of Cups uh, or the Queen of Wands. So somebody could have a lot of like desire for you. They could view you as very alluring, you know, or just charismatic, you know, beautiful, handsome, whatever. How does Sag feel? So I feel like this is a very intense love. All right, so we have the Two of Swords. So somebody's at a crossroads right now on how they feel. Sag is at a crossroads is what I'm getting here. Oh, there you are. See, it's like somebody's torn between walking away and reuniting. I feel like Sag is just kind of living life on a whim, right? That's really what I'm getting. Sag, you're just kind of like doing your own thing. You know, you may be a bit of a hermit and just kind of do your own little thing here. Very adventurous, which would be your energy we have here, the Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords here for? So the hermit brings clarity, right? So maybe you've kind of withdrew your energy, just kind of focusing on yourself, your life. But you're at a crossroads on whether you want to um, reunite or walk away. We have the Three of Swords. So I feel like you both are realizing, all right, I feel like the Three of Swords, one is your heart, one is the other person's heart, and in the middle, I feel like you guys are both broken as one whole heart. That's really what I'm getting. We have the Magician, yeah, because there's so much desire here. There really is. There's a lot of, like, energetic, like, energy between you guys, and you guys can feel each other's heartache. We have the chariot here. Yes, there's a huge drive to want to um, reconnect here. Yeah, it could be the emperor here, whoever represents that. All right, so which way is this going to go here? I feel like somebody's just trying to like remain like composed and, you know, but I feel like there is a drive here that's pushing you guys together. There's like ener forces of energy around that are like, pushing this so you guys obviously represent some t sort of like duality here um we do have here the three of yeah so i feel like somebody's like trying to look ahead they're trying to like figure this out when to make a move how to make a move um we do have the star here i feel like somebody's like holding out for a spark of renewal here um I feel like somebody really does want to make a move here. The Two of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to make a decision. All right, let's wrap this up here for Sag. What was the... Yeah, it's Two of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to make a decision. All right. When to arrive, when to come. Oofda. All right, let's wrap this up. Somebody's just doing a lot of thinking, a lot of weighing up everything. We have here, yeah, somebody's just moving things very slow. Somebody's moving very, very slow here. All right, we do have here, they could just be focusing on work, stuff like that here. All right, and that could be why, you know, they're taking their time. Their focus could have to do with work. All right, so forgiveness is hanging in the air. Okay, I feel like eventually things are going to balance out here. Let me for the hanged one knight of cups before we wrap this up. We 
we have the Six of Swords. All right. So double sixes. I feel like nostalgia is going to be what pulls you guys together. This feeling, this knowing. It's like you guys not you guys don't just feel it, you know it. In your mind, in your feelings. You feel it. All right, last card. I feel like it's getting like aggravating. Aggravating. Yeah, we do have here. I feel like eventually you guys are going to move towards each other. The nostalgia, the familiar feeling, all of that is going to be the thing that pushes you guys into this new chapter in your life here. All right, eventually somebody's going to take that leap of faith. They're going to um, take action here. But there's another six. There's sixes here that are key. This is an equal give and take. This is wish fulfillment. This is ultimate fulfillment, especially when you get to the Ten of Cups, which we saw in the beginning. So I feel like it's saying it's time to take action, all right? Because right now, it's almost like stagnant, like nothing there. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. You guys have a good day.